All right, welcome back everybody. Now we're jumping into the next segment. In light of the COVID-19 pandemic, all social gatherings, including events, have been canceled. Our next guest decided that the show must go on, online of course. Let's welcome entrepreneur and co-founder of Keep Hope Alive in the 21st Century, Mick Micah Jordan. Good morning, Micah. Hey, Carrie, what's up? I'm doing quite well, and yourself? I'm okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I saw you doing like a little squat challenge. That was great. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, joined every in. Morning, every morning we do a, a one minute challenge, you know, that in, in, in what you joined in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. You know, thanks for that. Uh, we, we hope you get to keep the, the blood flowing a little bit. I know. I definitely appreciated it. All right. So the uh, Keep Hope Alive in the 21st Century, what, what is this concept? What's the concept for it? What is this? Correct. So it's a conversation card game that we made first and foremost. Um, it's uh, deep and meaningful conversation starters, uh, stuff to prompt meaningful, engaging conversation and share stories. Um, right. And so that's the game. Um, it features uh, images from Trinidad and Tobago. And we tried our best to keep the questions as open-ended as possible because the point is to go on tangents, you know? Right, not, not just yes um, or no Just answers. enjoy the conversation. Yeah, not, not just yes or no answers, um, I was saying. Um, so what inspired you and your co-founder to create this game? Uh, I was in university and, uh, you know, the sort of first year situation where someone is like, how do I get to know somebody? Right. Usually the questions are, what's your major, where, where are you from, that kind of stuff. Right. And I was doing journalism, so I thought, let me put these two things together and ah. <laughs> come up with a basic question just to ask friends, people, to just get to know them. And that sort of became the basis for the questions. Um, definitely just a way to peel back the layers of somebody and right. uh, get to know them uh, on a deeper level. So who is this game meant for? Who is the target audience? Who's my target audience? I would say uh, everybody, anybody. Um, there's not... It's a conversation starter game, but it's really just like prompts a diving board off into for the conversation. A lot of the questions are about self-reflection, about positivity, about inspiring others. So anybody and everybody. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So tell us, tell us how the game works. Okay, how the game works. Um, it's really just, I would sit down with a couple of friends or even myself, and I would just shuffle through the pack and pick a question. Um, I don't know if you wanted to answer one while we go through this. Oh sure, I was oh, I was going to ask save you for a little later. Yeah, I was going to ask you to play in just a little while, but um, you know, if somebody wanted to get their hands on this, how do they okay. become a part of this experience? So right, well, there's there's a few layers to this. The 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 game itself, Keep Hope Alive, is a physical game, and we had a few events. We had one in January, and we were going to have another one in March. And right. what that was, we called it Speed Friending. So Speed -friending. people would come <laughs> and they would have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody for seven minutes playing this game. And then uh, we would swap and everyone would get randomized. Right. So it was definitely a way to just meet people in a new and unique way. Um, and of course, the coronavirus, <laughs> we shouldn't have social gatherings. So I thought, right. let's put it online. I see. So then I we see. just turned it into screen friending and we use Zoom. Um, everyone joins our lobby. And they have this thing called breakout rooms. I don't know if you know about this, Gary. Um, not not too well. Breakout rooms allows you to uh, randomize people and put them in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Okay. Little room, which is very similar to what we wanted to do with the physical event. So I thought we had to pursue this endeavor online. Right. All Hope right. I so did a good job explaining. So how do people like register online? How can they how can they uh, become a part of it online now? So yeah, you can definitely find us on our Instagram, which is at keephopealive21c or facebook.com uh, slash keephope21. And it's very much, um, you'll have the registration form, you sign up, and it's this Saturday, which is the 16th of May at 7.15 p.m. And we've wow. run eight sessions so far. Wow. So we're very grateful that we have a very open-minded community of friends and people that come to just break the quarantine blues, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody's trying to find some way in which to do that. And, you know, funny enough, you could actually meet new people 
in this time when we are, you know, supposed to be physically distancing from people. So, you know, there's a bit of a paradox there and you found an interesting solution to the trying times we, we are facing now. Well, thank you. We like to say, let's be socially distant together. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So, all right. Well, with no further ado, how do we, can I play the game? Yes, man. I'm so excited. This is like, this is going to be great. <laughs> I hope I can ask you <laughs> questions. <laughs> so, imagine we were in a Zoom lobby. Right. And I used breakout rooms to randomize you with somebody. Right. I would drop three questions per round in our WhatsApp group. And then I would ask you, well, you'd see it on the WhatsApp group, right? But right. the question would read, what's something that you're proud of you accomplished in the past year? Oh, wow. So uh, you want me to answer that question right now? Yeah. All right. Um, Look at some... this image of Pigeon Point. All right. Oh, very nice images <laughs> in, in, indeed. So um, something I'm, I'm, I'm proud I accomplished in the past year. Well, uh, it's actually very recent. Um, the start of my new segment, uh, Quarantine in the Kitchen, which is a cooking segment we have here every Wednesday. And um, I've had a great time doing it so far. And the end product, you know, with the inputs of the entire team, um, the end product is one that um, I really like. Um, a lot of people have expressed positive, uh, expressed positive opinions toward, and uh, I enjoy doing it. So that's something I'm proud of because I've wanted to do a cooking show for quite a while, being that I'm a chef for over 15 years now. So um, yeah, that is something like that. So I love that I, we could just go on a tangent here, right? Uh, right. What, is, what is one of your favorite dishes to make, if you don't mind me asking? One of my favorite dishes to make. Hmm. Hmm. No, my favorite cuisine to eat is Chinese food, Chinese cuisine. Um, okay. But I can cook many other cuisines. Um, to really pinpoint one dish, that is difficult for me. But if, uh, if, I, was, if, I, was, if I were to... If you were forced to, I, I don't want to force you yeah. to pick one. <laughs> we like all. And, and if anything, a, a big thing about this game is we don't want to force people to answer things that they don't feel comfortable. Right. You know, it's, it's totally just free reign, you know. We respect Definitely. everyone's boundaries. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I, don't I, don't I, love, I love cooking so much, it's hard to choose just one thing. So <laughs> that'd I be totally my answer. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you ready for this other one? Because imagine yeah. we're in a breakout room and we have nine minutes. Right. But it's just about, it's not about necessarily answering all the questions right. It's just about creating bonds and sharing in a moment, right? Like, I'm so happy to be sharing this moment with you. I'm learning right. about your food. And I can't wait to learn about what's the last kind thing someone has done for you, Gary. The last the kind of thing. Look out. The last kind thing someone has done for me. Um, let's see. People do I hope I'm not putting you on the spot. The time. Um, let's see. My girlfriend prepared breakfast for me yesterday. That's so sweet of her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very lucky man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about answering a few more, Carrie? Sure. Yeah, no problem. I feel like the audio kind of cut off there. I'm not quite sure if you said yes. Is um, it okay if I... Yeah, give sure. Give me, give me one more. One more question. <laughs> okay. Okay. So usually in this game, the questions range from deep, medium to big and heavy. I don't necessarily right. want to hit you with a big heavy one, but if you feel like you wanted to answer it. Right. You know, we could we could see. Uh, what mantras or philosophies do you try to live by? Ah, I, lo I love that question. Mm -hmm. So what mantras or philosophy do I try to live by? Uh, one, everything happens for a reason. Um, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yes, the and, golden uh, rule. And the third one I would say uh, that I live by a lot is that Everyone is fighting a battle you know nothing about, so just be kind. Yeah, man, I love yeah. it. I'd say I'd I say agree. those three. All right, so um, I enjoyed playing okay, that, and again, time for... um, Sorry? Unfor unfortunately, we don't, Micah. That's okay. Unfortunately, Appreciate we don't. It. But again, we can go find you on uh, Instagram, as you said. Uh, keep hope yes. alive. Keep hope. Alive 21C on Instagram, and we just came out with an Instagram filter. So one of those question filters that come up above your head. Right. Um, and you can play the game oh, wow. on your phone with your friends and followers and answer the questions. And it's just a really interesting way to create content as well. If you were 
an influencer or if you were just a friend who wanted to share, uh, you know, what's one of our questions, check that out. All right. As awesome. well. Well, with that one, I want to thank you, Micah Jordan, for joining us this morning. He's the co-founder of Keep Hope thank you Alive. Much, Carrie. And, you know, and thank you for um, sharing with us this morning. And we do hope that other people would engage in sharing with others as well as they play that game and uh, more and more people get onto your platform. Again, kudos on what you have done there and you know, even bringing people together in this time where we have to be physically distant. Thank you so much, man. I hope to see you at the screen front then. I think you'd really enjoy it. I, I definitely will. <laughs> all right, all right, Micah, thanks for that there. All right, we're going to take a little bit of a break. We have our remaining moments on the show, so stay right where you are, and we'll be back with a little bit more.